official you have the link to the install wordpress and configure it on your yosemite or any other computer if you have like windows and you don't know how to do it in windows or you can't figure it out you can comment down below and i'll help you with that i'll make a tutorial if you want me to anything for you guys so probably let's start if you want to use wordpress locally you must have map map it's some kind of server software so you just google it map and download it since i already have it here in my downloads folder probably even already installed it but i just want to make it step by step guys but it's probably very easy to download you just type map if you have mac if you have windows you type warp linux lab all available you just type and the first link i think is probably the one you're looking for so you just have to open it hmm, install but i already have it installed so i'm gonna skip this i probably think you know how to install map or any other software so i'm just going to cut right to it
and get all stuff organized so what you have to do to solve this you just have to go back and create a database I'm gonna be showing you how to do that you come to PHP my admin you create a new database and you can name it anything you want but I'm just going to name it WordPress then create you don't need to touch anything else you just need to leave it like that and what you have to know the other thing is your host is localhost the port is 8889 user is root, password is root, but probably on the only thing you're gonna need is root and password. So come over to you where you put your WordPress files, look for a file called wp-config which stands for WordPress config, so PHP. Then if you probably have, if you probably have Mac OS, it probably comes with this, what is it called? Smotron, Smotron, ah, I don't know. Then you probably you just have to look here, around here, and just what's around here is what's important. It's what you have to change. It's here. Probably these are my past config files, but since I'm using the web, the database called WordPress, here I'm supposed to fill in WordPress user remember the user was root the password was root and the the host was local local host because it's our local machine that's probably hosting these files so it has to be local host and you just save the file close up simultan whatever it's called Probably when you go back to your site, it should load WordPress. Let's see. My website one probably loads up WordPress. So congratulations, guys! But I'm not gonna be stopping here. I want to show you how to set up this whole configuration. So here you put in your site name, what you want to call your site. Probably going to call this Maxon, my last name, user. my name password you put in whatever password you want two times and I don't think you probably need a strong password like very long password because it's probably going to be hosted on your local machine then your email I'm going to put mine like Jimmy Maxon at Petals If you want the like Google search engines like Google, Yahoo, Bing, to find your website, you just click this, check this. If not, you uncheck it. Now press install WordPress. Finalize with the setup. It's going to show you the username, then the password is chosen. Login. Okay, you just simply have to type in your username. Then your password here, which for mine was pretty weak, then click login. Ah, probably now you're done, you've successfully installed WordPress. And if you want to check out the default website, there it is. Once you install WordPress, that's the default website they give you. And if you probably want to go back to the control panel, you just press your website name, then dashboard, then it takes you back to dashboard. And probably that's it guys for today but if you probably if you probably would like more like WordPress tutorials how to create websites using WordPress I'll be probably making a playlist of very very many things like batch file programming a lot of computer stuff so guys thank you for watching if you like this you can subscribe like comment if you get any trouble doing anything you can email me or comment down below